Hello Pisces, it's your girl Sacred 144 Tarot. Of course, of course, on the bottom of the deck is home. We are home, Pisces. We are home. I just wanted to give a big thank you, eternal thank you, infinite thank you, and so much more that words on earth cannot just describe. To you, soul tribe, Pisces or not, to you, soul tribe, soul family, for your energy donations, um, for any donations, for all of your prayers and your thoughts, whether they were in public, whether they were in private, behind closed doors, whether it was just a thought or a prayer, to me, all of that is equal. You know, um, no matter what it is, um, your love is sufficient. You know, love and abundance. Too often do we equate it to, you know, money and things like that, um, which it is and can be, and which we all do deserve as well, you know, but thank you for your love, for your love is sufficient, God's love is sufficient, and that's something that um, means a lot to me, um, you know, we're, the collective is going through all of these huge transformations, um, especially with abundance as well. Um, I read in a lot of your comments that a lot of you are going through very similar tests, trials, tribulations, uh, initiations, and clearings. There's so much clearing right now. Um, I'm like surrounded by 144. It's like 144, the Joanne's address. I got a license plate that says 144 right over there. Um, you know, so we are going through such a collective um, initiation, timeline jump clearing you know so i send everyone so much love and i thank you for your love um you know i get often so many messages like you know in the emails or comments um in which thank you also for sharing that uh, but i get so many messages of like you know i really resonated or you've helped me with this you know but uh it's an equal give and exchange, you know, uh, without you, Pisces or Soul Tribe, I personally don't know where I would be, 222, two, two. I really don't, you know, um, I thank God for us being a blessing to each other, for, that's why I always say I'm thankful for all reflections, you know, because all reflections aren't always love and light, you know, uh, but they will always turn back to love and light. So I'm very thankful for each and every one of you for all of your love. Thank you for your abundance. For anyone who did send energy donations, may it be returned to you in abundance in both known and unknown ways. You know, um, so I just wanted to say thank you so much. You know, um, I do still have the tarot course tomorrow, so the tarot course will still be going on. Uh, we do have about three spots left for the tarot course, so if you are interested in joining our four-week tarot course, it's just a one-time payment, uh, you can still join in, and they will be recorded too. So even if you do miss out, if you're a little bit late, it'll be recorded and sent to you every single week. We're going to be looking into the 22 major arcanas, the general and hidden meetings, and we are going to take a fool's journey into Christ consciousness, which is being birthed right now, um, you know, and... Um, it happened yesterday, uh, or rather I made the post yesterday on Easter, you know, which celebrates the rising of Jesus Christ, you know, but, and so often do, and not even so often, but we've been so programmed to think that it just represents like, oh, he died for our sins, boom. No, it's such a representation that there is no death. Even what may feel like death, there's no death. There's only rising consciousness, rebirth, more life whatever it is, you know, to you. So I'm shine your light. There you go. Uh, I'm sending you all so much love and so many blessings. Just as always in all time, spaces, and dimensions, I'm very, very thankful for you, So Tribe and Pisces. We are going to get in a reading for the Pisces today. So I'm going to start the reading. If you would like a tarot reading, if you would like a personal session or to join the tarot course, all the information that you need is going to be in the box below. I do still have the airy season specials going on. Some of this is from another deck. So let me put this away. Yeah, I do still have the airy season specials going on. We're heading into Taurus season 444, which Taurus season is, um, 
a lot of earthly matters, especially money as well. So I do feel like in the collective, there's going to be a balance of whatever's been a little bit out of balance. Taurus is a slower moving sign as well. However, retrograde is coming. We have our retrograde coming, you know, so um, a lot of order. Too many cards. We're going to put that back. I did cleanse the area already too, but I'm going to spray that again one more time. All right, Pisces. Let's see what we have today. Luminescence right over here as I split the deck. And I am going to be answering uh, individually as well. Um, there's a lot of comments, you know, and emails of different things. If you did book a reading, it'll probably take about 48 hours more than usual, you know, but I will get to it. And I will contact those that I do need to contact as well. All right. Teach and share. We have that over there. So you can resonate with that. Holy Spirit and Father Light. Holy Spirit, Father Light. What do we have for the Pisces? Violet Flame and Beyond the Mind. A lot of Soul Star Chakra um, energy. It is the Violet Flame. You know, Soul Star is the violet color. So it's the Crown Chakra. I'm also getting like white light, like Shekinah light, like yellowish white light. Um, there's a lot of Shekinah energy, Sophia energy as well. Beyond the mind and the violet flame, you know, the violet flame awakening is going on in the collective right now. And beyond the mind, there is a rise in consciousness that is beyond the mind, beyond the 3D. Uh, we as a collective, I'm not sure if you read, um, I did include a post from Isis Channelings on Instagram. Look at that crown chakra right over here. So the crown chakra definitely is being upgraded right now in the collective. Um, I added in the community posts and um, a collective channel update about the 22 gateways and the blue lotus uh, and kind of what's going on in the collective as far as our upgrades and uh, resurrection rebirth energy. That 3 and that 5D is bridging. You know, and there is a rise in consciousness, you know, and of course, Easter, you know, is the rising of Christ. But what it really is, is the rising of Christ consciousness, 70777, and the death and the rebirth um, of the collective of what no longer serves. So a lot of violet flame energy, you can resonate with that. I'm getting Saint Germain energy as well. Now, Saint Germain is coming to mind. I'm going to grab one more card for you. So upgraded sight, upgraded crown chakra. And it's, I'm laughing because I, 7.33, I was literally just going to say, and in my other reading, I said, we're getting activated from the root all the way to the soul star, full spectrum, full spectrum. It's a complete death and rebirth. It's a com complete clearing. You know, when it comes to the Lotus in Hinduism, each chakra is a certain amount of um, petals, you know, and as you go to the highest enlightenment, it's 144,000 petals, and that's in Hinduism, you know? Um, so you can resonate with that. The number's 20, 52, or 26, uh, full spectrum. You know, and look, at there's skulls as well. So a full death and rebirth, um, whatever it is that you're going through, whatever it is that you're being tested, cleared, initiated, there's just so much going on in the collective. Um, so take everything as it resonates for your own personal journey. New blueprints, there you go. You are being cleared from old DNA, old karmic debt, old ancestral patterns, wounding, the old is being in the violet flame. It's like the flame of the Holy Spirit. So it in, in airy season, I really see that fire as the violet flame or the holy flame just burning and purging what doesn't resonate and making something completely new. You know, so new blueprints as well. Your codes, your Sophia, your Christ codes are being upgraded. That violet flame, uh, violet flame, the... Uh, blue and purple energy so you can resonate with that we are gonna get some tarot cards as well all right holy spirit and father light guides of the pisces what do we have What do we have for the Pisces today? So I'm getting seraphim energy. Like, you know, the angels that have a bunch of eyes. Holy Spirit. What do we have for the Pisces today? The moon. Can I have two more cards? What is this moon for the Pisces? Eight of coins. What's the moon and the eight of coins for the Pisces? 
Nine of Cups. And that's the eagle energy if you've been seeing eagles. We do have swans as well, so a lot of swan energy. All right, the moon, eight of coins, and the knight of cups. Bottom of the deck is the tower. The tower only shakes away what's not for you, for your highest good, for a stronger foundation. Everyone always fears the tower card, but there's really no reason to fear it. So you have the moon, the eight of coins, and the knight of cups. We did have the full moon in Libra. Now, full moon in Libra, it's the Libra energy. It's bringing things into balance. Uh, there was a lot of Pluto energy for this full moon. So, too many cards. Uh, but there was a lot of Pluto energy this full moon, you know. So, it's also bringing that death, that rebirth, or the endings it is that you may need. So, endings um, that are going to bring balance to your life. 33 seconds on the clock. What's the, new, what's the moon over here? What is the moon for the Pisces? The Empress. Why the Eight of Coins? The Emperor. Why the Knight of Cups? The Lovers. Interesting. Chariot. And so what I've been getting a lot with this energy for the collective is there's a balance of your masculine and feminine. So there's inner union. You know, whether you have a union with out of you or not, um, that's, a you know, take that as it resonates. But there's inner union. And that's what this moon is kind of working on. And it's really shining light on those parts of you, especially with the Pluto aspect. So check out where your Pluto is. I believe it's like Venus is in Pisces. The moon was in Libra. So both Venus ruled signs and then Pluto was in Sagittarius. So what you, what you don't see with the moon, something that's revealed, right? So there might be something revealed as far as emperor or empress or as far as you, your masculine and your feminine. But I think it's really going to mirror with out of you, perhaps. Whatever's going, and what, in general, whatever's going on within will mirror with out. But we have the emperor, the empress, and the lovers. So with the knight of cups, clarifying that is the lovers. You might be receiving a love offer. I have told some people to be aware that this season, you're going to, especially divine feminines, like... And the way I see it is like a bee and a flower. Like divine feminines, you are a flower, maybe sitting on your throne. And um, the bees are the masculines, you know. But be aware that you're attracting a lot of energy in general. You know, you are going to be very attractive. Your energy, it's kind of like that pheromone energy. Card did not fall face up. So it's kind of like that pheromone energy. So just be aware of that, divine feminines. Use your intuition for who approaches you because you maybe get uh, maybe getting multiple suitors. Well, you have the emperor, the empress, and the lovers. You know, so there's something coming your way. Uh, something's been being worked on, perhaps with this full moon. Um, what's the emperor and the empress for the Pisces? What is the emperor and the empress for the Pisces? The hierophant, divine energy. I see the Hierophant as source. You already know that too. Uh, there goes that balance. You've, you're really balancing your masculine and your feminine Pisces. And that may be reflecting out of you, without of you soon. The Hierophant is also marriage counselor. Uh, why the lovers for the Pisces? Page of coins. What's the page of coins with the lovers for the Pisces? Oh, ten of coins. We have ten of coins, five of cups. So it felt like this. So that ten of coins, I feel like, is around the corner. Why is the five of cups here? If they're not face up, I don't take it. They almost fell face up, but not face up enough. There you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. So for the five of cups, nine of coins, ten of swords, justice. There goes the Libra energy balance. You could have, and nine of coins I see as stability. We have the magician on the bottom of the deck. Nine of coins I see as stability. Now that could be money. It could be your personal foundation. We have ten of swords. So there was some sort of pain with your stability or maybe some sort of instability. But there's justice over here. So there is balance coming in. Uh, you know, and the five of cups, that again, that could be the balance between your masculine and your feminine. Uh, you know, in any test that you have in life anyway, maybe like anything that's going on, 
Maybe it's to activate your feminine. Maybe it's to activate your masculine. You know, so I feel like if this is a relationship without of you, maybe you both are clearing or just you or just the other person. So take everything as it resonates because it's not a personal reading. Are clearing things um, that are out of balance within your own foundation to come together. There goes the two of coins again. So you're bringing a balance um, to something that may have been painful. Ten of swords could be a betrayal or something very painful as far as your personal foundation with the nine of coins. The nine of coins... And that makes a lot of sense because we have the Ten of Coins, right? The Ten of Coins is the ultimate stability. It was sideways. Um, so you're clearing some things over here, but that Ten of Coins is around the corner. Two of Wands, the star. Aquarius energy, Two of Wands, I see as something from a distance. I see as expansion. Uh, it's definitely the expansion energy as well with the Two of Wands and the star. And there goes that mirroring effect again with the Two of Wands. So... There's light coming in, Pisces. Something you've manifested is truly coming in. There is clearing over here. Looks like a lot of deep work with that moon energy too, with that full moon in Libra. But something's coming in. You know, first you have to do some sort of clearing. First, there's some sort of stability that you are regaining over here that did not fall face up. But with the two of wands and the star, there's some sort of light coming in. There is definitely some deep healing coming in with the star too, because I see the star as a healing card. But I see that as light. I, I, just, I don't know why I just heard Hail Mary too. So maybe some of you like that resonates. Why the two of wands with the star for the Pisces? Why the two of wands with the star for the Pisces? Mm, why the two of wands with the star? Did that fall face up? No, it didn't. Why the two of wands with the star for the Pisces? Six of wands. Nine of cups. So there may be some, be, been some sort of instability, whether that's physical. Nine of coins, um, that's the earth sign. You know, it is money. It can be money. So it can be some sort of stability with the home, with you, with whatever it is. Um, and you bring some sort of balance. Um, the two of wands could be the future or it could be just that expansion energy. Expanding in light too um, with the star energy. And you have the Six of Wands. So you have a celebration after this. And you have the Nine of Cups. So you yourself, Pisces, are stable or bringing in stability. There's some sort of celebration about your stability. Why the Six of Wands for the Pisces? Two of Coins. There you go. Balance, stability. A lot of clearing, Pisces. There's a lot of just collective clearing in general. Um, so I plan on... We have King of Wands in reverse here. I had a few people, 1717, 17, I had a few people ask me if I can do a live, and just because this is, there's just so much going on in the collective, it's not just this YouTube, it's not just your comments, it's not just your emails, like I see it amongst a lot of other goddesses, priestesses, uh, priests, gods, whatever resonates with you, people, <laughs> earthly beings, uh, non-earthly beings, there's a lot of balance coming in with that full moon in Libra, with the Aries energy too, which is the new starts and clearing out the old um, that I may be going live and I may do a Lakshmi meditation, um, with our white candle and just to pray for the collective to bring stability. Um, and I could even leave the Lakshmi mantra, um, to calling in abundance and stability. And we can do that together. So I could do it on my end on live. We could have, um, yeah, all of our energy and I'll leave, again, I'll leave the mantra for you to use at home or to use during the live. So, if you're interested in that live, I may do that this week. Let me know, and if so, I will. We have Page of Cups. What's the Page of Cups? Eight of Wands, Three of Coins. So I feel like little offers are coming in to you, too. For some of you, it might be, like, trickling in. Um... And we did have page of coins too, you know, so I feel like you're going to be having multiple offers. And I said that before too. So that's why it's also important for you to use your discernment because you will be receiving offers and it's important for you to use your intuition so that you are not accepting any offers or choosing offers out of a energy of lack that goes death right over here out of energy of lack or fear, but something is coming in. What's this eight of wands could be coming in for work. What's this eight of wands with the three of coins, seven of wands. Seven of Wands is feeling like the need to protect, or it is protection over here. What's the Seven of Wands? Two of Swords. High Priestess. 
So I do feel like you're, there is a need for you to protect yourself from some, from some of these offers. Seven of Wands, Two of Swords, the High Priestess. Be wary and use your intuition, Divine Feminines, Divine Masculines, however you identify in your journey about some of these offers. You will be receiving many is what I'm seeing in the next few months. Whether that be love, whether that be work, you will be receiving many. But your High Priest or Priestess is needed, Pisces, for these offers. Um, for you to be accepting offers from a place of love, of intuition, of truth, of balance. And not something that can further block you. Further block you or down the line you find out it was blocking you. Clarify the two of swords for the Pisces. Seven of cups, look at that. Like there's multiple offers coming in Pisces, but you need to use your intuition. It needs to be accepted from a place of divine love, divine knowing, divine truth authenticity so just be wary of that 33 seconds that whether that be love or money again you're going to be receiving multiple offers uh be wary of the page of coins the page of cups can i have a card of advice the magician you're manifesting this pisces whatever you're manifesting is coming in over here you are the creator of your own reality you are that multi-dimensional pisces you are pisces the alchemist over here with that magician energy and what I've never really noticed, too, is the little mice that are here. And we had three over there, too. So the number three could mean something to you. Um, one more card of advice for the Pisces. Ace of Cups. The world. What's yours is coming in, 111 Pisces. First, you have to burn away what doesn't resonate. You have to release what doesn't resonate. Whatever brings you, what's actually keeping you out of balance, like the tarot card, it's going to shake away, you know. But what's actually for you is coming in authentic connections because libra ruling uh relationships and connections too there's gonna be you know whether you're in a marriage or whether it's just friends or maybe even business partners whatever it is uh what's not exactly authentic to your path will shake away and what is authentic to your path will be coming in you know but also just to know that as you rise in your consciousness in your energy in your whatever it is pisces as you ascend those pheromones, that energy, everyone's going to feel your energy. Be wary of the page of coins and the page of cups that will be coming in. Um, look at that, eight of wands. They will be coming in, the page of coins, page of cups, but that's not what you want. You want the ace of cups. You want the ace of coins. You want what's actually for you. Um, you know. And while we always have these lessons, we have people that come in for lessons. We have uh, situations that come in for lessons to rise in our own consciousness, our own love. Um, what they're really recommending, Pisces, is that you use your intuition for the next I, I'm getting like three months energy into Gemini season of people that come into your field, um, opportunities that come into your field because there's that 10 of coins is just like that. So the 10 of coins is coming in. There's beautiful things coming in. The six of wands, the, the star is coming in, uh, two of wands. Some of you may also be traveling. Um, you know, so just be wary of that page of point, page of coins and the page of cups, um, but thank you so much, Pisces. I love you so, so, so much. I'm so thankful for you, Soul Tribe and family. You know, and um, thank you for, yeah, thank you. Thank you. Um, if you received that, then that was yours. You know, I wanted to do that in the beginning because I was finding a hard time with the words. Um, but I love you. I love you. I love you. Have a beautiful day.